What's good guys, welcome back to the channel if you're a season ticket holder, if you're not, my name is Marcus, this is Proper Retro Boots, clues in the name, today we have a review and unboxing of a very special pair, they're kind of retro, they're kind of not, they're kind of modern, everyone's talking about them, you will have seen them everywhere, I wanted to get this video out as quick as possible, you might have seen them on the Instagram if you follow us on there already, did a little short video about them, but in here we've got a very, very cool boot. So, without further ado, I'm going to flip the camera around, unbox these, show you some details on them, talk a little bit about them. Later in the video, I'm actually going to wear them, try them out, let you know what I personally think. Disclaimer, I'm a great football boot seller, bang average player. If you want to see someone who's a much better player talk about stuff, I have another pair of the exact same boot right here off my friend Noah Kavanagh out in the USA. He's a pro player out there, reviews boots and stuff. Awesome channel, amazing guy. Like I said, if you want to see his opinion on these as a pro player, check him out. My pair right here for Mr. Trampoline Foot. Let's get into it. Here we go. Huge box. Just want to say shout out to Nike. Double boxing with edition pairs like this. The other pair that came from Pro Direct, single boxed in a bag. No, 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 no. Not the way to do it. Not with limited editions. People paying a lot of money for. So let's get into this and see the special box inside that these come in. Okay, now even though they were double boxed, the box is a little bit damaged on the corners and stuff. We can live with that. Flyknit, Ultra, Hyper Venom, Phantom. You've got all the logos, got this effect on the box. As you can see, that color is just the reflection from the proper retro light there. Yeah, box is awesome. So I'm switching into a little voice over here while I show you some more cinematic shots to show off how amazing these look. Of course, the details on the box are nice. I love the uh, the little kind of hint to the boots that you get with the, the pattern on there. As you can see the light reflecting in it. I've got a UK 10.5, that's my usual size in Nike boots. Obviously I've said I'm gonna wear these. Spoiler alert, I have worn these. Went with my usual size. Uh, just in general, sizing tip if you're gonna get some of these, most people could probably go down a half a size. I got the 10.5, I have very wide feet. Personally, they fit me really well. When I first put them on, I thought they were maybe a little long in the toe, but once I grip socks on, I started playing and they warmed up a little bit, they were perfect. So you see we open them up, they have this lovely paper in there as well, and then, wow, look at these. Of course, the Nike football tag on there, because they're brand new. You can see already the pattern on them and how vibrant the colors are. That chrome sole plate, I'll talk more about that in a little bit, but just wow, they look insane. Uh, I wouldn't blame anyone for keeping these uh, in their collection just to look at because they're awesome and you know they are kind of innovative, uh, kind of a piece of boot history going forward if that's what you're into, if you're a serious collector. So, like I said, I don't blame anyone for just keeping them, but you know, if you want to play in them, go for it because they are built for it. Uh, they've got the Flyknit Ultra on the side and the Hyper Venom on the sole plate. It's a nice little touch having uh, two features there from both the boots. My only qualm with uh, how they look is kind of that tick on the side could be uh, maybe positioned a little nicer, I think. Maybe a little bit bigger would be cool, but I guess with the texture in, you know, they didn't want to make it too big and get rid of some of the texture elements. Yes, having a look at them here, up close on that sole plate, and it's an exact one-to-one -one of the Hyper Venom 3 sole plate, which is amazing traction-wise. It's got the kind of uh, ridge blades on the outside and then the more conical blades on the on the infoot. There's the sticker just saying the chrome effect will wear off after use, which is always a shame, but they're just so good. So as we just said there, the combination of the two boots, I think they've done really well. Love the look of this textured up, uh, and especially with the flying it, the stretch, because if you've seen any of my videos before, you know I've got very wide feet, so that's going to be a nice touch. The sole plate as well, absolute one-to-one -one Venom 3, it's completely the same, and I'm a sucker for the chromed finish. Reminds me of the uh, World Cup 2018 Just Do It pack, the Hypervenom Phantom 3 from that, the white one with the green plate, always my most requested boot from pro players especially. So I think these are going to be very popular with a lot of people. Now I, I'm going to sit down, flip the camera around again so you can see me, I'm going to talk a little bit about actually copying the boot, uh, whether I think it's worth the money and stuff, and me talking about why I'm going to wear these especially. So there we go, you've seen the unboxing. I'm a huge fan of these. Obviously, if you follow me for a while, you'll know that I pretty much exclusively wear Nike boots to play in because I have very wide feet. In general, I think Tiempos, Hyper Venoms, CTRs, all those kind of boots have always been my favorite to wear. Total 90s were the OG for me. Uh, just a better fit for my foot, especially across this midfoot section. 
So when I saw these were coming out and they combined two boots that I loved in terms of wearing the Hypervenom 3, I was a big fan and I loved the Flying It Ultras. I couldn't get a pair at the time, I couldn't afford them. I wasn't selling football boots and stuff then, but the black and gold pair for me as a Chelsea fan with Eden Hazard when he was kind of in his prime was the perfect combo. So I'm super, super stoked to get these. Uh, the reason I'm going to be wearing these, not just because they're amazing, but it's because I managed to cop them for under retail price as they launched. I bought them straight from Nike. Uh, I had a Nike birthday discount code if you're a Nike member uh, in your birth month. So for me, September, they give you a code. I got these for 25% off. Obviously, they sold out within minutes. I was lucky enough to grab a pair in my size with the discount, which I didn't think was going to work. I was going to buy them anyway and kind of just make content with them. But I thought if I'm getting them for 25% off, might as well wear them. Brought them down to a very reasonable price for such a crazy pair of boots. I think I ended up paying 165 for these, which is mad. They were supposed to be about 220. And now from what I'm seeing from most kind of reputable resellers that I'm friends with or that you see around, the going rate right now for these is around 350 brand new. Uh, I've not seen any used pairs being sold yet because they've literally only just come out. Not many people have been wearing them. Um, I think 350 is probably a pretty reasonable price for now for how, how crazy these are. Uh, I don't know the actual numbers on how many were released because I know they weren't an exclusive to any one particular website. They were on Nike, they were on Unisport, Pro Direct, all these kind of things. So, assuming not crazy limited numbers, but uh, very sought after and they sold that everywhere really quick. I think they're probably going to be pretty popular with pros, uh, people who are into their boots who can actually get away with wearing these. I don't know if we'll see any of the big Nike athletes wearing them. I mean, sometimes they let people wear some of the kind of some of the limited edition special pairs for like a couple of games, but it seems to be pretty tight uh, in terms of letting people wear what they want and not just wearing the standard uh, versions of boots. So the ones that are going to be available in the most stores are going to sell the most pairs. But I'd love to see someone wearing these. Uh, speaking of wearing these, in a second I'm going to throw these on foot, uh, give you a little picture of kind of how they fit, my opinion on the fit, on the material, stuff like that. Like I said, I've got very wide feet, so if you don't, you know, you can listen to mine, take it with a pinch of salt. They're still a very cool pair, even if you just want to grab these to collect them. I don't blame anyone because they are so, so sick in hand. I'm, I'm totally in love. Just feeling them now, I think they're going to be awesome. Yeah. So I'm going to throw these on feet, give you a little look at them. If you want to kick off in the comments saying you shouldn't be wearing these, they're too nice or whatever. It's my prerogative, you know? So, right, let's throw these on feet, get it done. I'm going to, I'll do something cool. Here we go. Nike socks as well. Three, two, one. Bang, we're back in the voiceover as well. They look amazing. Here you can see it's just me uh, messing about, wearing them. I wore them for a full hour of six aside the night before this and they were perfect. The fit was insane out of the box. It felt like I'd been wearing them for ages and they were fully worn in. Didn't get any blisters, any irritation issues. Uh, like I said, at first they felt a tiny bit big, but once I got going in them, it felt like there was literally nothing there. Insane. Please don't uh, rip my skills in the comments too much. You know, like I said, I played the night before, a little bit tired, a uh, little bit injured. Just going through some basic kind of drills here and stuff, more just to get a few clips in the boots. Uh, but yeah, uh, as far as actual kind of performance things, I'd say they definitely felt like they helped my touch. The control was amazing, the fit was perfect. My passing and striking in them when I was actually playing in them felt great. As you can see here, a few close up spots of them uh, taking a couple of penalties and stuff. Overall, 10 out of 10. So, just jumped on to quickly film a little summary because I just finished editing the rest of the video and realised I'd not fully summed this up. Overall, my rating, like I just said there, for the Flying It, Ultra, Venom, Hyper, Magic, Unicorn Boots, whatever you want to call them, a genuine, my personal opinion, 10 out of 10. I'd go as far as an 11 out of 10. I've worn a lot of boots over the last few years. I try and do reviews on Instagram all the time. I try and be honest about stuff, what I think is good, what I think isn't. And again, it's just for me. So I'm sure opinions will differ, but for me, these are as close to perfect as I've ever experienced in a football boot, fresh out of the box, straight onto feet. Insane, never had anything like it. I've now worn these for three, four hours of playtime. Uh, as you can see, the chrome plate, Still going strong, absolutely no damage. All that has been on 4G pictures as well. The toe box is kind of reinforced, which is amazing. You don't get that in a lot of modern boots. Um, obviously, 
the kind of elephant in the room in terms of a review and me saying people should get them and wear them and stuff is going to be the price. Now, resale wise, uh, I've seen people on eBay already. It's been like a week since they came out trying to sell them for like five, six hundred pounds, talking like eight hundred dollars or something like that. Obviously, like I said before, I got these for below retail, which is, you know, you won't be able to get that now, but are they worth spending three, three hundred and fifty pounds from a, like a good reseller for? If you've got the money and you want to wear an amazing boot or you want them in your collection, yeah, I really think they are. Uh, obviously, there's cheaper options out there. I'm not saying these are going to make you a completely different footballer, but if I was going to spend 300 quid right now on a pair of boots to wear, these are top of the list. This is as good as it gets for me right now, genuinely, honestly. I'm not selling these. I don't have any pairs for sale, so I'm not being biased. If I do get any pairs for sale, you know, I, d I don't know, so buy them off me, because you'll want them, believe me. Yeah, genuinely, definitely the boot of the year, 2022. There's a couple of pairs I want to try before the end of the year, just to compare them to. But for me, uh, for anyone with wide feet, for anyone who enjoyed Hyper Venoms, Phantom Venoms, stuff like that, these are kind of like, imagine the best version of all those Nike boots put together. This is it. This is the all-star team of Nike boots for me. Combines everything, super lightweight durable, wide, like flexible, uh, incredible grip elements all over as well. Yeah, just doesn't get better than that. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know in the comments if you're gonna get a pair, if you've got a pair, if you're gonna wear them, if you're gonna save them, if there's anything you don't like about them, if there's any more pairs you wanna see me review or if you wanna see me do any more different kinds of content, there's loads of videos coming up. Please subscribe. Thank you so much for your time. From me and the boot of the year 2022, it's over and out. Ta-da.